Howdy everyone. You can see the plane is on the ground, which means that I have finally finished riveting this skin here. This skin makes up part of the rear window area and it goes back and attaches to the tail skin that's already been put on. So again, this video is not going to be that exciting. This little clip won't be that exciting. I'm just kind of going over what I've been doing. Just, again, trying to uh, tie up some loose ends. So the big thing, of course, is this skin is now riveted. And uh, I find it a lot easier and uh, personally a lot safer just to have the fuselage on the floor. And then uh, put uh, boards or whatever you need to put inside for support and then climb in and uh, go ahead and do the riveting. So that's all done. Uh, no problems, no real issues. Couple things to consider. There's a triangle plate. You can see by the rivet pattern that's underneath the skin. Make sure you don't forget to fit that. And then there's a spacer between this piece and the skin underneath here. Don't forget to put that in. Pay real close attention to the rivet callouts because there's some different sizes. These are number fours in here in diameter. All of the other ones are number threes in diameter. And of course, there's different lengths depending on what the location is. Usually these intersections where you have a bulkhead and a stringer or a bulkhead and um, any kind of an intersection, usually that one particular rivet might be a little bit longer. So again, just pay attention to the rivet callouts. A couple of anomalies that I had planned for, and I'm personally okay with it. One is underneath the skin, you have this angle bracket. I think it's an angle bracket. But there's a structure under here, and it gets attached to this bulkhead with an angle bracket. That angle, If you rivet that in place prior to putting the skin on, that angle bracket interferes with this rivet. So I went ahead and riveted it in place just because that's what I wanted to do. So this particular rivet you can see is a pulled rivet. I'm fine with that. I also have some pulled rivets on the front edge here. This is a designated pulled rivet per Vans, but I've added two others because there's part of this roll bar structure and the latching structure for the canopy. There's a heavy metal aluminum bracket in here. And I had made provisions in the bracket to clear these two rivets so I can actually get the rivets in. But there's no way to get a bucking bar on the back side. So these are also pulled rivets. So I've got three on this side and the same three on the other side. But like I said, I had planned for that, so I personally am not concerned. All right, so that skin is now done and riveted. I have also, I don't know if this will show up very well, I have the seatbelt cables now in place, and those are attached all the way in the back to their appropriate bracket, one on each side. So the brackets are installed, the cables are in. I use clevis pins and cotter pins to hold the, uh, to attach the cables to the, the mounting brackets. What else? I believe that might be it for this little clip. Like I said, the big thing was the skin that is now done. A couple of cables for the seat belts are now done. I think I've covered everything else. So at this point, oh, the other thing you'll notice that the, uh, the crossbar here for the back of the seats, that has been taken out. That needed to be taken out so that I can get in here and do the riveting on this skin. Now that these rivets are in place, that bar will not go back in. The ends of that bar hit the shop head of these few rivets on both sides. So I've got the bar out and I'm gonna have to go ahead and ever so slightly, I'm gonna have to take a little bit of material off of this end 
and I'll have to take a little bit of material off of this end so I can get this back in place. Once I get this back in place and bolted, then I can go ahead and reinstall the vertical upright that goes right behind my flap control. It, that vertical piece mounts back there and goes up to the seat cross brace. I had had that in before, but I wanted to take it out so I had a little bit more room inside here to work without kicking that vertical brace. And ultimately the cross brace had to come out anyway to do the riveting. So those need to go back in. You'll note that I've also removed all my blue tape. I've got blue tape in the cargo area, but from the cargo, the rear cargo bulkhead aft, all the blue tape is now gone. So that's all, all the blue tape has been removed in the back. Everything has been cleaned. And that's uh, pretty much ready for flight. So that's all I can think of at the moment. Coming up next, I believe, I believe I'm going to jump back into the canopy frame. I believe. Don't get too jacked about it quite yet. I'm not 100% sure, but I think that's where I'm headed next. So we'll see what happens. All right. Talk to you guys later.